Now that I have time, I'm doing a bit more experimentation with the universal motor from the vacuum cleaner. Last night I tried unsuccessfully to get it to run on 24 volts without field windings. It did not produce enough torque and even when kick started by hand, it would quickly spin to a stop and stall. So I have changed my strategy to get more speed out of it with less batteries, resulting in this setup you see in front of the camera. 12 volt deep cycle marine battery, clamp meter on the lead so I can measure the current, plugged into that, small 150 watt DC to AC inverter, plugged into the inverter, my trusty Variac, and plugged into the Variac is the universal motor. Since the inverter has some regulation to it, this will allow me to not only vary the speed of the motor, but also keep it relatively constant even as the battery goes dead. Inverter on, draws about 0.25 amps from the battery. Variac on, that draws 0.47 amps from the battery, and speed up the motor. That's about 7 amps from the battery, and that's moving a lot more air than it would on 24 volts DC. Here's a piece of equipment that I don't think I featured on here before. It's a photo tachometer. Makes a little laser beam, and as things move past the beam, it measures the timing of the reflection to indicate an RPM value. So if I started flapping my hand faster, then slow it down, like so. I have a bit of reflective tape on the motor shaft and I'm going to see if I can get an RPM value as a function of the Variac voltage indicated on the dial. The whole motor Variac inverter setup ran continuously for an hour, nothing got hot or complained, so I came down here and rebuilt the motor assembly into a more permanent setup. Got the wiring attached, made sure there's no leaks, attached a screen here so fingers and other foreign objects can't get into the blades, shortened the lead by about half, here's the rest of it I chopped off, though there's still plenty here for it to use. Slack won't be a problem. Firmly attached a short section of hose up here. It's a lot easier to use a single ring of tape and get two sections of hose together like so than it is to keep attaching and taking it off here and dealing with this when it has a big flopping around section of hose on it is annoying. Got some oil on the bearings, got everything checked out, and I think this is ready to go. Here it is on 12 volts DC. Thanks for watching.